This is Dr. Fraser Crane coming to you from KACL 780 Talk Radio. So, Roz, who's our first caller? Oh, hi, Dr. Crane. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a little nervous, but, uh, well, here goes. Um, several years ago, I became afraid of large open spaces. Like, if I went to the mall, I'd break out in a cold sweat. I'd get so scared that I'd have to run home. Yes, Leonard, and your comments on intrusion? <laughs> Nothing. It's just that now I'm afraid to go outside at all. I haven't seen another person in eight months. Well, Leonard, it sounds like you may have a very serious condition known as agoraphobia. But you're not alone. But I am alone, Dr. Crane. <laughs> Doc? I'm at the airport, and I'm having a lot of trouble getting on the plane. No, Bob, Bob, statistics prove that we're safer in the air than on the ground. No, no, that, that's not it. I'm supposed to be flying home to Newark for Christmas, but the next gate over has a flight to Maui. I'm telling you, it's calling me, Doc. <laughs> well, why are you hesitant to go home? Because it's the same thing every year. I travel 3,000 miles to sit down at the dinner table with my family, and what do we talk about? What's going on in our lives? No. Our hopes and dreams? No. We talk about the turkey. Boy, that's quite a bird. 24 pounder. What time did you have to get up to put that in the oven, Ange? Oh, boy, that's moist. You must have been based on that bird all day. Yeah, Dr. Crane? Oh, Dr. Crane, I'm, I'm uh, thank you for taking my call. I, I, I tell you, I, I, um, I'm about, I am about to lose my mind. I, I am raising four kids by myself. The oldest one is not even seven, and the other three are all under five. Between cooking and cleaning and changing diapers and tripping over toys, I, I feel sometimes like I am about to snap. What, what, what should I do? Have you considered getting a puppy? <laughs> Lately, I've had the chronic fluctuating mood disturbances that would indicate cyclothymic disorder. I mean, the hypomanic symptoms are there, and yet I've experienced moments of aphasia and apraxia, and I just want to pull my teeth out, Dr. Crane. What, what do you think? Well, Greg, two possible diagnoses come to mind. Either you are seriously mentally ill, and you should be institutionalized immediately, or you are a first-year psychology student. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm at UW. This is Dorothy. Oh, Bill's on line one. Yes, well, let's just stay with Dorothy for the time being. How can I help you? You can get me Roz. I'm her manicurist, and she called for an appointment. I'll call you back later, Dorothy. I have my own car dealership, but still, I I'm depressed. You've probably heard of me, Madman Martinez. Well, what seems to be the source of your depression, Madman? I guess it's just that business is down. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I, I slashed prices this week. Uh Right now, I got an 88 Olds Cutlass on the lot in rare turquoise metallic, cord of a roof, leather, factory air. Yeah, man. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to the six brand new Supers I got in. They're priced man. to sell with a 20% discount to all your listeners. People say to me, Madman, you're crazy. But I say, hey, I deal in volume. I Fortunately, in so do I. For about a year now, I've been stealing. I get these uncontrollable urges to take things. Such as? <laughs> <clears throat> all kinds of things, magazines from stores, a friend's sunglasses, <laughs> things I don't even want. I see. Um, <clears throat> go on. <laughs> it's, it's so unlike me. I mean, my friends think I'm dull. They all say, but bet you're like an old shoe. <laughs> but stealing is so exciting. It's, it's really it's the mm. only time I feel alive. Well, it sounds to me like you have a classic case of klepto... <laughs> klepto... <laughs> Kleptomania. Hi, Dr. Crane. Thanks for taking my call. I'm a first-time caller. I'm a little nervous. Oh, just relax, Vic. I'm listening. Okay, I'm really having a problem with women. Rachel, Madeline's on line one. Uh, Dr. Crane? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Vic, uh, uh, some, something's come up in the booth. Uh, just, you know, I'll have to turn you over to my, my very capable producer. Uh, okay. <laughs> Madeline, Madeline, hi. So, Vic, um, what's this trouble you're having with women? I don't know. You know, I have, I have a good job. I think I have a good personality. Of course, I made more money when I was modeling, but I'm doing okay at the law firm. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, I had a really good year. I decided, hey, why not reward myself? So I bought what I really wanted, a 48-foot cabin cruiser. Now, how much it cost me? I'll tell you how much it cost me. 300 grand, not to mention the 25 for the custom teak decking. Now, here's my problem. The wife wants to call this incredible vessel 
Lulu Bell, after her mother. Lulu Bell. So I say, no, we call it the Intrepid. So what do you think it should be called? Lulu Bell or the Intrepid? <laughs> Hello, you're on the crane with Fraser Air. Hi, Dr. Crane, this is Marjorie. You see, I'm, I'm having a problem with my boss. He doesn't seem to respect me, and I don't have the courage to confront him. Okay, okay, Marjorie. Well, let's, let's see. Let's do a little role-playing, okay? Now, look, I'll be your boss. You be yourself. You be Marjorie. And uh, come on in and talk to me in a very forceful way and tell me what you think, and uh, you just might be surprised at what happens. Well, okay. Listen, Mr. Ross, I've worked for this company for six years, and I've never missed a day. But you've constantly promoted people less qualified than I am, and I don't think that's fair. Oh, well, Marjorie, I must say I admire your forthrightness, and uh, I wish more of my employees came and spoke to me with an open mind, and you know you're going to get that promotion. Hey, that was great. Yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Okay, it's my turn. My turn. I'm Marjorie. You're the boss now, okay? Come on. Uh, hey, Dr. Crane. It's Mark. Hello, Mark. I'm listening. Okay, uh, well... I work at this all-night mini-mart, and um, I've been watching myself on the video camera, and the camera me is doing things I don't approve of. People think insomnia is a laughing matter, but it's hell. If I don't get some sleep soon, I'll, just, I'll go crazy. Doctor Crane. Doctor Crane. Hey, I'm talking here. What? I'm listening. Well, so what do you think I should do? Well, you know, sometimes these things seem clearer in the light of day. Um, my advice is to sleep on it. Several years ago, I became afraid of large open spaces. I'm supposed to be flying home to Newark for Christmas, but the next gate over has a flight to Maui. I am raising four kids by myself. The oldest one is not even seven, and the other three are all under five. I mean, the hypomanic symptoms are there, and yet I've experienced moments of aphasia and apraxia, and I just want to pull my teeth out, Dr. Crane. What, what do you think? You can get me Roz. I'm her manicurist, and she called for an appointment. Right now, I got an 88 Olds Cutlass on the lot in rare turquoise metallic, cord of a roof, leather, factory air. Dead man. Me. I mean, my friends think I'm dull. They all say, but bet you're like an old shoe. I have, a, I have a good job. I think I have a good personality. Of course, I made more money when I was modeling, but I'm doing okay at the law firm. So what do you think it should be called? Lula Bell or the Intrepid? You see, I'm, I'm having a problem with my boss. He doesn't seem to respect me, and I don't have the courage to confront him. I've been watching myself on the video camera, and the camera me is doing things I don't approve of. If I don't get some sleep soon, I'll, I'll, I'll go crazy. <laughs>